नमस्ते दिस इज डी डब्ल्यू आई टी न्यूज एन आई एम प्रतिष्मा आचार्य डी डब्ल्यू आई टी ऑर्गेनाइज एन ओपन हाउस स्टेशन ऑन द सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू ओर इन द स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट द सी एस आई टी एंड बी सी ए प्रोग्राम टू शाइन मोर लाइट ऑन दिस मैटर मिस विधि रघुवंशी रिपोर्ट्स Each year the WIT conducts an open house session where we talk about different elements of studying computer science in an undergraduate level to help you choose the correct course. It is an interactive session where the college gives you the information about different aspects of studying in the WIT. Anyone who has completed their high school and is considering continuing their studies in the computer science field are welcome to join this session a series of open house session has been held this year as well and 10 sessions has been successfully held as of right now the most recent session was on september 2nd friday the campus chief hitesh karki introduced himself to the students and started the session in each session mr hitesh karki informed the students about the dear work aptitude test which is a skill based objective test designed to check the level of understanding of the students in the desired field also the variety of it courses offered in nepal as well as the difference between studying courses affiliated with foreign universities and nepali universities was discussed likewise the college brochure was provided to the students they were made familiar with the different clubs of dwit and highlighted the credit courses that the college provides each semester he clarified the scholarship program and informed them about the internship opportunities as well they were impressed by the platform the college offers the students were very clear about them and many of them were excited to join dwit the session conducted till now has been very fruitful and a great success This is Pidi Raghubansi reporting for DWIT News. And now on to the college updates. DWIT College is providing you with a digital record of all your results as well as other academic certificates in the near future. With the role of this app, the college will also start a process of consulting those in the red zone individually. To assist some of the students to prepare themselves for board exams, the college plans to run special preparation classes right after the college exams and before the board examinations. The final term examination for the batch of 2025 BCA and CSIT was conducted from the 8th of August. The midterm examination for the batch of 2024 CSIT was conducted from the 29th of August. Meanwhile, the batch of 2022 are having their board examinations. The Artistas Club successfully conducted a Guess the Password game event on the 10th of August. The event started at 4 p.m. There were a total of 6 teams and each team consisted of 2 members. This event is a recreation of the game Password from the Two Nights Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The workshop on introduction to game development with HTML5 and JavaScript was conducted by the DDC on the 20th of August. The workshop started at 12 p.m. and ended at 3 p.m. The objective of the workshop was to build a game in HTML with JavaScript under the storage capacity of 13 KB, just like the name JS 13K. The Artistas collaborated with the Hiking Club to conduct the Canvas Outdoor Competition on the 21st of August. The event took place on a one-day hike to Marble Dada. The hikers were divided into teams of four or five members, depending on the total count. The teams were allowed to paint anything from scenery to a doodle of completely unrelated elements. A winner was decided based on the composition, idea and neatness of the painting. The Media Club conducted a 2-day advanced Adobe Illustrator workshop starting from the 21st of August. It was a 3-hour training with a 1 and 1/2 hour class for 2 days. The advanced concepts of Illustrator such as custom brush, blend and advanced tracing techniques as well as advanced graphics designing concept was taught in the workshop the zenga competition was organized for the first time in the dwit premises by the sports club this event took place on the 25th of august there were a total of 15 teams each team consisted of two members the event began at 4 pm with all the enthusiastic teams competing against each other it ended at 5 pm The DWIT Social Service Club in collaboration with the DWIT Music Club organized the event Musical Day with Children on the 27th of August. They spent time with the children in the Sarita Bhavan Orphanage Samakusi. 
The weekend was spent with the children playing games, listening to music and spending time with them. One of the most active clubs here in DWIT, Software Club is looking for a hardworking and dedicated individual to join their team. This can be a great opportunity for you to develop your skills and grow with them in the IT sector of Nepal. And now on to the voices and opinions. Kathmandu Metropolitan City Mayor Balindra Saha continues the demolition of illegal infrastructures around the valley. On the third day of the demolition, Mayor Saha monitored a dozer run over the illegal structure of the Alpha Beta complex in New Baneswar. Earlier this week, Saha's team demolished some illegal structures of a commercial building in New Baneswar, Kathmandu Mall and RB complex. What are your opinions on the eradications of illegal infrastructure by the Metropolitan? I think the job that is uh, that the Metropolitan are doing right now is like very needed thing uh, because we can see in uh, in Kathmandu city there are lots of uh, shops that are built uh, in the basement and and this thing is like it's completely against the rule right so this like this this problem has been a major thing in Kathmandu the problem of parking and the problem of crowd of people because there are very uh, small street in like Let's take an uh, example of the new road. The street is very narrow and the bikes and cars, they are, they are almost uh, taking the, the half of the road. And I think uh, the project uh, that the Metropolitan uh, is doing, this will surely solve the problem of parking and the problem of crowd in Kathmandu city. And uh, hence, I think it's a very good thing that the Metropolitan is doing in Kathmandu. Thank you. Do you think Balindra is working up to the expectations of the public? Well, yes, because Balindra Shah, it hasn't been long that he has been appointed as the mayor of Kathmandu. So within this given short frame of time, he has imposed rules and run campaigns that other leaders were just talking about, such as the No Horn campaign, making the toilets available for the public by joining forces with different uh, banks, rest uh, restaurants and other organizations. And he has also imposed the rule and informed the citizen, requested the citizens to separate the inorganic and organic waste so that the waste management system can be more effective. So within just this maybe three, four months of his appointment, he has done this, uh, this these works are Let's say he meets our expectation quite much. That's it for the bulletin. Stay tuned for more.